Mr. Merritt here, do you have a report? And that there is no report this morning. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> County Sealer. Uh, Any questions for the County Sealer today? Thank you. Uh, Board of Elections uh, report they have no report and there is no primary in the county tomorrow. So I guess you don't have to get up early to go vote. The district Attorney has been uh, has been excused. The emergency service, Mr. Jaquish. Uh, I, I don't have any requests for resolutions today, but I do just want to uh, talk a, a minute about uh, the diversity project, as I refer to it. Uh, I explained before we have uh, basically 14 trunk lines that run on the same fiber cable from the E-Town office to the public safety building. If that cable is broken as it was last winter, we're done. We're out of business. So we want a diverse route. Uh, so what I have done is had Verizon engineer a route to the Chesterfield Central Office. Um, they gave me a price of $200,000. Some of the things I don't know are from the DMARC at the roadway into the building would be our responsibility. And I don't know about what kind of permits I would need, uh, where that route would actually run. So there is some work to be done before I move ahead with it. But I believe it's the final stage of our communications upgrade. I think it's very important that we have this diverse routing. Um, it's, it makes us a, a survivable uh, unit. If, if for some reason we had a fire in the central office or somebody hit one of those poles and took us down. So I just want the board to understand what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. It is expensive. I know that. But with the radio project closing in, we have some money left. I think it's the time is now to do it. Um, and, and that's why I want to tell you about that. The other thing is uh, I want you to know that the uh, Belfry Mountain Tower, the 190 foot tower, which served us for many, many years since the 50s, has been taken down and removed, as well as the Wells Hill 40 foot tower. So they're both down and that job is finished. And that's basically what I have for today. If there's any questions about the diversity project, please see me about it. I have some. Uh, a diagram, but I'm not. I can't release it because it's Verizon's it's proprietary information um, as to how how they route it. Just one question: Don. It, based upon the cost of this, and it's, it's obviously going to be a capital type project. I mean, do we have to put this out. We to put this out to bid. Actually, you can't. Um, it's one of those rare circumstances where you have no choice. Uh, Verizon is the last uh, the last mile provider. Um, you are at their mercy. They're the only ones that can provide this for you because they are the provider of service. Um, so in this case, um, you pretty much have to accept what it is that they're charging. I mean, we've certainly gone back and forth with them over and over. And, and you know, at one point, they actually proposed um, to run a lower cost option for us, but would be coming out of the same main office, which made no sense whatsoever. Um, if, in fact, you were going to have a problem at that main office, you, we having two, two separate routes into the same building would have been pretty useless. Um, so in this case, we are at Verizon's mercy. That's because it's, it's, it's fiber, right? Well, it's a fiber line, but it's not just because of that. It's because they have what's called the provider of last mile within this service area. And we use, we use the camera trunks and the actual fiber copper trunks, believe it or not. Those are horizons. Any questions? Or just more. Uh, that money would come from? The radio project. The radio project, so we have sufficient money there. Okay. There's money sufficient in there. You know, again, some of the... Some of the extra money that we've taken in has been money coming from New York State electric and gas payments um, and the New York State police payments for um, some of the additional costs, third party costs that were associated um, with the closing out the program. 
and, and one other thing, they are done with the work on Terry Mountain as well, but the new torque arms AT&T performed that work. And that work is completed, so Wednesday we're going to uh, relay up the tower. The new lamps on the tower. Uh, we had to file a, a, a notum with the FAA because we lost some of the lamps. Um, we need to, ex to do that expediently, but they would, Prescott Towers is doing that job and they would not go up on the tower when there was other workers doing, doing the work up there. It would have been dangerous, so Wednesday they're going to be there. As, as far as the removal of those towers, just so just so you're aware, um, that is a requirement of the APA permits for the new the construction of the new towers. We had to remove the old towers under the program. Any other questions? Emergency services. Thank you. Thank you. Emergency medical services. Patty. Good morning, everybody. So I just want, just want to give you a, a brief update on what was, what's been going on with the survey. Um, we've been really, really busy, and this week's going to be as busy as it has been. Uh, so, so far we've met with public safety, emergency management, um, law enforcement, um, E-Town Transport, E-Town Lewis, Willsboro, Westport, um, IP, Lemoyle, uh, Spring Lake, and Minerva. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow's the 13th, whatever day that is, we're meeting with Lake Placid, Keene, Wilmington, and Keene Valley, and then on Tuesday, or the 14th, we're meeting with Mariah. Um, we still have to schedule Newcomb and Ty, um, and a community group, but um, it's definitely been very active and very busy. The squads have been really supportive, and they've been doing a great job with uh, providing the data and stuff. So, um, I should have more to report next month. Questions for emergency medical services? I want to commend you on the work you're doing getting that study there. It's, uh Really moving ahead. Yeah, we're actually a week ahead of schedule. I'm kind of excited about that because our next meetings weren't supposed to be until the end of the month, but we're actually two weeks ahead of schedule, so I'm pretty excited. Any other questions? All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Sheriff's office. Just uh, one piece of information. Last spring or last fall, when uh, Patty mentioned the, the crisis with emergency response for ambulances and EMS personnel, we started a program where any of my officers that are out and available, <coughs> if they hear a call, they will respond to that ambulance call. If they're free, they're available, they will automatically go. In expanding that program a little bit, we worked with Patty and two of my officers have volunteered and have just graduated from training and are now EMTs to better fill those gaps and to, to service that. That's Deputy Bob Rice and Deputy Justin Bobby. I just wanted to recognize them as volunteering and taking all that additional work on and Patty for working with them and, and helping us to better serve the people that are out there. And I can answer any questions while I'm standing here. I want to thank you myself, um, Sheriff. Uh, actually, there was a call in Wilmington that the Sheriff's Department responded to, and I think that's that's a really great service. And a lot of times we can beat we can beat the ambulance squad there because we're in the car, we're local, and we're available. And I've had people that have taken the place of an ambulance attendant to get the ambulance rolling quicker, yeah. and they leave their car and then they come back to it later. But uh, we do have some documented life saves, and, and these guys are going to appreciate that very much. Excellent. Yeah. Any other questions for the sheriff? Thanks. Just got back from 
like an extended active duty period overseas. Um, while I was gone, I'd just like to publicly commend uh, my staff, Josh Ackerman and Emily Evett and Kelly King. They kept things running. Also, we're down an, uh, another person, another attorney, um, Molly Hahn, had a baby uh, right before I went overseas, and she's on maternity leave. So with a diminished capacity of personnel, they've been able to hold things together and keep everything running smoothly. So I'd just like to publicly acknowledge my staff for keeping things running. Other than that, I have no further, nothing to report. Any questions for public defender? Just one quick, do you, do you know what the status is on the end of defense thing? Does the governor sign that? I have not heard any updates. Okay. Uh, if you have any opportunities to continue to lobby to have the governor sign it, appreciate any efforts that you can throw it that way. Thank you very much. Uh, I was, uh, we, have, we have one issue with the uh, board of elections. Uh, and, sure. um, I'd like to go into an executive session for purposes of legal advice on the current uh, Article 78 proceeding entitled Bethany Cosmet versus Mark Whitney, Allison McGahee, and William Perry, please. Motion. Uh, Ms. Mee is seconded by Mr. Moore. All in favor? Aye. 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 session. Executive session, we discussed the matter of uh, Bethany Cosmer versus Mark Whitney and Alice, Allison McGahee and William Caraby, which is a Article 78 proceeding regarding a foil appeal made by uh, Commissioner Faraby uh, in evaluating this matter uh, because we have so many moving parts, so many, so many uh, defendants. Uh, involved, uh, and I can't represent all of them. Uh, I've determined that I have a conflict of interest and can't uh, defend this matter. Therefore, uh, I am going to recommend, uh, well, what I would like is a resolution from the board, uh, that we uh, pay for an attorney for uh, Allison McGahee, one for Mark Whitney, should they so desire one, uh, to defend this action uh, at, at a reasonable uh, hourly rate, as well as an attorney, if I can't handle this, uh, for the Bill Therabee as the appellate officer of the FOIA. Motion. Mr. Moore, second. Uh, Mr. Brown, second. Thank you. Thank you. Further discussion? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Scott. Yes, I'm not a member of this committee, but I don't support this simply because Bob Freeman um, who was the head of the foil for the state of New York has offered his opinion that this information should be made available. I just want to respond that that's just an opinion. I personally disagree with it. Uh, uh, Mr. Politi. First of all, I haven't seen a copy of that opinion, nor has any member of this board, to my knowledge, has seen a copy of that opinion. Well, so, that's what I you mean, hire me for. I, 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 how does I, I, Mr. Scott's if I have a copy of it and we don't? No, he does not. So, what's, it, was, it came up in discussion during a board meeting. But none of us have seen it. Well, I, take, I don't even know what it says. I take the attorney's word for it. They're in the minutes of a meeting a few months ago where he had stated that Bob Freeman. I, I, the, think, I think Roby's point is he knows it, it exists. But he doesn't know what it says, yeah. and he may disagree with it. Well, you sent him a copy. Well, I think his point, well, I'll let him speak. Yeah, it's because he changed the laws. He's smart now. Yeah, doesn't our insurance, any insurance uh, coverage cover legal defense for him? I did write them, and they do not cover it. They do not, no. I just, I just would like for, uh, for the press that this all could have been avoided. If Ms. Cosmetter had chosen, as we were director, we directed her to get a court order in 
and that would have solved the whole issue. There had not been any uh, lawyers needed. A court order would then have uh, directed us to give her the information that she was asked for. So she uh, reluctantly did not seek a court order for this information. Thank you. Any other discussion? Ms. Monty? An opinion is just that. It's an opinion. You can go around this room and get 18 opinions. But if that was an opinion on this specific issue, is there a legal reason the board cannot see that, see that opinion? No, the board certainly can see the opinion. Was that something that you could send out to us? I can send you the opinion or I can send you my response. And just as an aside, Bob Freeman is, uh, is the guru on foil, and I respect him. Uh, and he's well respected in the community as a, as a very astute lawyer, but I disagree with his opinion. I, I think we have a, a in, my, in, in my view, it, this is a contention between two sets of law, foil and election law. And because it's, you know, they're competing, probably needs, needs to go for or what, what takes precedence, my, my opinion. Any other discussion? Yeah, just again, in, in discussion with the uh, Board of Elections in Albany, we have both sides. One says yes, one says no. So even Board of Elections out of Albany will not make a decision on how to direct us as to what to do. If that board came together, both sides came together and said yes or no, it would be very simple. But even they will not make a decision. So, you know, where do we stand? Uh, yeah, and I did send them a letter early on saying, tell me what you want. Tell me your decision. Yeah. First of all, first response was we're working on it then I got nothing they're not going to take a position because there is a difference of opinion down there any further discussion on the, on the resolution motion could you, uh, wait? Could you tell us what the resolution is again uh, basically it is resolution uh, authorizing uh, Mark Whitney and or else and or Allison McGay he individually to through me uh, I'll approve the, the attorney to hire their own attorneys to represent their interests respectively as members of the Board of Elections and for Bill Therabee Ther should I decide that I can't represent him uh, that he get his own attorney too or the county uh, as the appellate officer for FOIL so it's requesting three attorneys yeah, at such cost at a cost that's uh, with uh, uh, acceptable to me and current in the market not acceptable to? Accepted to all, all of that. I don't have the cost, so you have to give someone the ability to make the call as to whether he is. Uh, and we don't have much time because we have to reply to this thing. All right. Any further questions or discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Any further business to come before the Public Safety Committee?